So you can do it either way. Slope intercept or point slope. Go. Shouldn't need your calculator. Take something times negative two thirds, buddy. Divide by three. Take it times negative two. I'm making your life easy by doing a multiple of three. Yeah, I liked how I, I like, heard from a couple people. Let's use slope intercept. So communicate. Just like when you're working with anybody, you got to say, "This is what we're going to do." And then do it. Are you surprised you did it right, John? No, I'm not. You're a smart kid. You're one of the smarter kids I've got. Okay. So I did it both ways. I did a slope intercept form. Okay. And I did it um, point slope form. The most difficult part of this is taking negative two thirds times six. You got to do that on either either way. So let's talk about how to do this without a calculator. If I take negative two thirds times six. What do we do? Divide by three and take it times negative two. It's two different two different steps. Divided by three, you can do that in your head. Two. Take that times negative two, I get negative four. You're done. Okay? So, <clears throat> did you get that right? Did you get that right? Okay. Now let's do this. What if I have, it goes through the points. 2, negative 1, and 5, negative um, 10. I'm not going to tell you exactly how to do that. You guys brainstorm, figure out how to do it. Before, I've always given you the slope and a point. Figure out what you got to do. If you wanted to graph this, you could. For those of you guys that like to confirm your answers and stuff, you can definitely confirm. But what's the first thing I got to do? Quick. Find the slopes. I got negative 9 over 3 gives me negative 3. Did you get that? Did I do it right? Okay, good. 
So then I'm just going to go ahead and go, I'm just going to kind of truck through this pretty quickly. Negative 3 um, times 2 plus b gives me my y-intercept of negative, or my y of negative 1. So I get negative 6 if I add that is b5. Okay, so y equals negative 3x plus 5. 5. Okay. Okay, so you all right? So two points. It's just find your slope, turn into what you've done before. If you wanted to doubly make doubly sure that you're right, how could you make sure this is right? You could plug in the other point. You could plug in the other point. Negative five, negative three times five gives me negative fifteen. If I add five, I get negative ten. Ah! There you go. Okay. Release the crack, and here we go. I gotta throw a little bit of a wrench in the works here. Four, negative two, and ten, negative two. Find me your, find me your equation, please. <laughs> you can do it. Come on, brainstorm. Think it out. Okay. Anybody confident what the answer is? Which? Any, either one. Y equals negative 2? He is correct. Why? <coughs> slope, okay. Slope is 0, so it's a straight line. All lines are straight. What kind of line? It's a horizontal line. Slope is zero, so it's a horizontal line, but how does that give me my equation? You would uh, plug in the boy next, the boy next to it. And you then. could plug that in to y equals mx plus b, but what's our, what's our gut tell us? If it's a horizontal line, y is always negative 2 in this case. My y is negative 2, my y is negative 2, so my y always has to be negative 2. That's what my equation is. Because if we would draw that, okay, We'd have 4, negative 2, 10, negative 2. My y is always negative 2. And think about it. What axis does it hit? Negative. What axis does it hit? The y. Where does it hit it at? Negative, negative 2. There's my equation. Okay. Here's what I want to do. <clears throat> you don't have much time, so um, I'm not going to make it incredibly long. But... And I've got to make up for next weekend, so the assignments might be a little bit longer between now and then. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Rut row what? I don't know. It's Rut row, ras row.
but you need to be awesome at slope. You need to be awesome at slope. All right, Jenny. My week's been hectic enough that at home I'll just say once so it's good. And when do you go, what's wrong? I'm like, nothing. It's just been a week. It's just been a week. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to consider this sufficient instruction for how to find equations of lines. If you don't understand it, that's when you need to take actions in your own hands, get, with, get together with somebody else, come in and see me, but make yourself good at graphic, finding equations of lines. Thank <laughs> you. 